Searching for goodness and positive aspects in abusive and toxic relationship is a kind of a trauma response. When you are helpless, when you are stuck and you are unable to come out of that toxic relationship, uh, you know, uh, we develop a kind of a survival mechanism where we, you know, start looking for some kind of, you know, goodness in bad things so that we feel good, yeah? And we are able to survive that relationship. Let me give you an example. You are being beaten by your parents. You are being, you know, abused by your parent or by your partner. But still, you know, you gaslight your own self. Maybe there was something wrong with me. That's why my parent, you know, treated me that way. Maybe there was something wrong and maybe my, you know, partner was stressed. That's why he hit me and he treated me like this. So this is a kind of a survival mechanism. Yeah, when, you know, uh, these victims start finding, you know, positive aspects, you know, start, you know, uh, developing stories around, you know, abusive things that maybe she did this because she had a difficult backstory. Maybe he did this because he was stressed. Yeah, but we know what the fact is. Abuse is abuse. No matter how much you twist and turn and, you know, fabricate it, it remains abusive yeah abusive things are abusive and toxic